Welcome to another episode of Who's That Anime with your host Stephen Collin. Steve and Colin are here to talk about Chainsaw Man episode six. This this one's called Kill Denji. Oh, we've got we've got a name. Kill yeah. Kill Denji. Remember to say it this time. Kill Denji. That's not nice. Why do they want to kill him no. for? Uh well we'll find that out, won't we? Oh we'll reveal later. Yep. But first, so, a word from you... our sponsors. Oh no, wait, do we have a sponsor? Not as far as I know. Not Shit. really. But I felt like Shit. Uh, how we should do it and no. talk about our sponsor for like half an hour and then just like go, yep, this is the reason why. Spon- spon- sponsored by uh, uh, D- Disney's Disney's Weekenders. Um, oh wow, don't quite see that. Go. Oh, all right. Is that Disney Weekend? That's not Recess. Yep. No. Oh. It's around the same time, though. Uh, late 90s, early 2000s. Nice. Uh, it is a super underrated cartoon. About Weekenders. Yeah, it's about what uh, this group of four kids, four friends, get up to at the weekends. Um, and it was one of the first cartoons I watched where the characters would wear different clothes. Like, they wouldn't have their standard look. What? Um, which I thought was yeah, it's really like really super interesting. The theme tune was sung by Wayne Brady, um, and it was cleverly written, really really funny, um, and like talked about difficult subjects for kids. I think as well, which is really interesting. Like you know, like a lot of the things, uh, like shows like Boy Meets World and Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Uh, dealt with uh, very difficult topics, like even like Saved by the Bell, like dealt with things like drug use and things like that. And I oh, think yeah. those were always like really uh, formative things for people our age to have watched. Mm-hmm. Uh, weirdly, I never thought car- like cartoons never really did that, <laughs> but I felt like the Weekenders tried to, um, and, and like succeeded in more more cases than not. As oh. well as the fact that there was a pizza place in it. And the pizza place in it had a different name every episode and a different theme. <laughs> wow. Um, but you remember the, the PSAs at the end of the cartoons that they, they all put in? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, you know, like Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. I had Ar- one. Archie's Sonic. Yeah. Ar- Ar- was that Archie's Sonic? Yeah. I think it was Archie's Sonic, yeah. I thought Archie's Sonic was. Uh, the Saturday morning Sonic Hedgehog. Is that not the same one? No, that's the one with Sally Acorn and stuff in it. But I thought that was Archie's. No way, Sonic Underground. No, Sonic Underground is the one where he has his siblings. No, the one in between that one, because there was like Sonic. Wait, there was the another one. There was Sonic the Hedgehog, and then no. I was saying there was Saturday morning Sonic. 
And then there's Sonic Underground, which is the one that's on Netflix, and it's horrible. Yeah, this is crazy. Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic Underground. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Sonic Underground wasn't his siblings. That was Sonic X, no? No, no. Sonic Underground was the one of the siblings with the green hedgehog and the purple one. I just remember there being a guy called Antoine. Yes, that's not Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, Sonic Angry, that's the Saturday morning cartoon. No. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. Unless it's they have Antoine. Unless they put Antoine in the underground too. He must have been. Uh, there was no Antoine in the Saturday morning one. Wait, wait. Or am I getting it wrong? Was it Adventures of Sonic? Because there's one where it's actually had a storyline where Robotnik was evil and there were resistance fighters. and um... That's that's underground. Yeah, yeah, but like this is another one that has Sally Acorn and they lived in uh, was it Notwood Village or something? Uh, which Robotnik can never find and they had like a half robotic uh, rabbit, uh, Anton the kind of cowardly French person I'm so fucking confused. And Tails, and then there was a beaver, and then he had his Uncle Clive who got roboticized, and things got roboticized, and Robotnik was really evil. And then he had Snevely, the, the, his uh, underdog, and it was really quite dark for so a kid's cartoon. The one I watched, I'm yeah. just going to double check this. I watched a bit of Underground. I never watched Sonic the Hedgehog, the TV series. Yeah, because that's only last two seasons, isn't it? Yes. And I think that's. I did Archie. not watch that one. That was Archie's comics. Uh, and you're on okay. about the one where it was Sonic and Tails, and they just ran around doing crazy things. And you had like the chicken uh, robot, and the... I think they're both referenced the Scratch and Grounder. Yeah, yeah. I uh, it was Deke was the the company, Deke Animation. Mm -hmm. Possibly that was the one I I watched a lot of, and that one ran for like four or five seasons, I think. Right. Possibly, yeah, because that's that was probably the more popular one, or at least I think it was the Sega. Kind of one over the arch. I certainly, uh, certainly liked it. That was the the other one. Anyway, but the one that you watched had like uh, endings on it, and there's ones about where basically guys, if people wanted, we talked about uh, pedophilia. I watch yes. out for that. I don't think they aired those in the UK though. Possibly not, but I remember he. I do having... actually have. I have some VHS tapes of that Sonic. The the one that you haven't watched. I know the 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 one I did watch. The one you did watch. Uh, mm -hmm. and he man had uh, the one at the end of well. It's like remember kids, don't do this, or they have like a funny skit at the end, which is meant to be teaching you not to run with scissors or something, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Oracle, he ran with scissors and now he's lost an eye. <laughs> it's, it's not as good as the uh is it the G.I. Joe uh <laughs> what's it called? Oh uh, sorry it was like an adult swim thing. It was the thing they did with the dubs, the the overdub. Yeah, yeah. Uh and it was like G.I. Joe G.I. Joe Remember Knowing's uh, half the battle. You know, it's yeah, half the battle. And it was like, oh, um, what the fuck was it called though? I can't remember. But it's just it's... called knowing is half the battle. Probably, maybe. Oh, um, it was it was called GI Joe's GI Joe PSAs. That's what it was. Yeah, and then um, that that was the one where he goes, "This this place is on fire, kid. Get the fuck out of here." <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's so good. Yeah, and then there's like a. There's a scene where the kids on the boat or something, and then like uh, the water GI, you know the 
<laughs> water Joe. The Water Joe guy <laughs> starts dragging the kid away and he goes, Stop talking to me. <laughs> some, some, of them, some of them was like, uh, Shit. I like it's the, the guy who was the radio guy and they turned to him and he's going, Like beatboxing <laughs> in a great way. Um, Anyway, we could uh, we could talk about that for a while. And then, uh, we've managed to get off topic again. Uh, <laughs> it should just be the name of the podcast, Off Topic, but I think it's already been taken. Jesus. Off the ball, that's been taken. <laughs> anyway, um, I was going to mention Clerks, the animated the, series the, of Clerks. I love the Clerks animated series. <laughs> they had a... I'm sure they had a... A couple of PSAs with the uh, uh, Jay and Simon Bob doing stuff about. There are two things I remember from that cartoon vividly, <laughs> and one of them is I think on the very first episode when it goes, or is is it? Yeah, it's the first episode where it says previously, and it just goes <laughs> and just shows like a, a signal failure thing, yeah. and then uh, the other one is a guy coming into the store. <laughs> and uh, all you hear is Randall going, is it safe? And the guy going, yes, very safe. Is it safe? Is it safe? Is yeah. it safe? And the guy just freaks out and runs out the store. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. fucking good. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and then I love that card. It's, I, I have that. I have the DVDs of that. I had DVDs of it. I bought them in Canada, but I lost them somewhere. I don't know. I must oh, have given it to someone. Anyway, um, I will. I'll give you the rips of them. Don't tell Kevin Smith. Okay. I won't say anything. You don't. Uh, and then it's the second episode, which was the flashback episode. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you remember that it's, time it's we a, did this? It's like everything about that show is incredible. It has so much awareness of how stupid it was and how bad an idea it was and that made it amazing. Yeah, yeah. And then oh, episode 4, I think, was the court case? Yes, with the Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Yeah, where Randall just wants to like ask all this, all these people about the films, like, this is stupid, this is false advertising, I want my money back. Yeah, and he had, isn't uh, it true that you just wrote it over a weekend? <laughs> yeah. And it's, uh, oh, it was, um, Judge Reinhold, too. Yep, that's right. In fact, oh shit, there's that whole, there's that whole sequence of him and Eddie Murphy putting bananas in people's tailpipes of their cars and going, huh, 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 huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 uh. yeah. Oh man. And then they they don't finish the episode, so they go like, "Oh, uh, due to uh, uh, budget costs, we <gasps> are able to finish the episode, and we weren't to uh, we put it to our uh, Korean animators, Korean animation studio, and it's just basically going, everybody work, everybody work. It's amazing. And Bear is driving. How can that be? Who's driving? Bear's driving. How can that Bear be? Bear is driving. Oh, I love that shit. And then, Tom Cruise, show me the money. Show me the money. Yes. You can't handle the truth. Yeah. <laughs> but it's the it's bit where uh, they, go, they drive in the car and then I think they jump out of the car and then it transforms. Yeah. And then it transforms with someone in it. Yeah, and then this was... Oh my god. Oh, I'm going to watch that cartoon. I, it's in my garage. I'm going to go and get the DVDs. In fact, that, those are the next DVDs I'm going to rip. <laughs> after the cartoon series. Well, I'll get them in uh, yep. in March. After you finish Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's going to take some time. Yeah. Um, uh, um, uh, there was other episodes where like, they were walking... Up the side of the building, like the old sixties Batman. Yeah, and the flower pot falls. Yeah, and then, good stuff. Yeah, when they broke into there was only six episodes. Lando, Lando. <laughs> I I remember um, the guy shouting on the phone. He says, "What is it? No, they're not. What is it? It's something like they're not evil spirits. It's just rain." 
<laughs> oh yeah, yeah, because he's. <laughs> it's not evil spirits. It's just rain because he's been somewhere in Africa. Very nice, it's joke. Oh my god. Oh, and so... then, and then they had the the token black guy in the episode because they were. It was just all white people, so they made a token black guy in it. Fuck man. And then he got mauled by dogs. Cause he that was like, show was so so aware of everything it was doing. I I genuinely thought it was very clever. Yeah, and then it got canned. That count as anime? Nah, not really. It's it was definitely different from normal. E- but even it's, though it's... They, they, even though they've got that Korean bit. <laughs> they got that Korean bit. It is still very much. So it's um, definitely animated in Korea. Yeah, yeah, Western. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's more Western, yeah. I mean, half this stuff is animated in China anyway. Yeah. Or think. is it China, China or South Korea, right? So I, think, I think The Simpsons is Korea. Yeah, and they make the same joke. Yeah, yeah, they do. Oh, did you see the the Simpsons in, uh, opening? What was it? Oh, the Death Note Simpsons opening, yet? Yeah. It's not an opening, it's an episode, isn't it? It's an episode. I thought it was a, 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 an epi- a Halloween. Uh, it must be in Halloween. Horror. Yeah, it must be that, yeah. Because it lo- it's not a long episode, and they usually do three stories in one of those. Yeah. So be, I haven't watched but, the, the Halloween episodes in maybe 10, 12 years. I mean, this is the latest one it came out. Yeah, I mean... I thought you might watch this Simpsons, because... Sim- Simpsons is on, like, season 34. Surely it's more than that. I had to explain to my son that the Simpsons... I have grown up with the Simpsons to the point of... There, <laughs> was, there has almost always been a Simpsons since I've been alive. <laughs> Since you've like, been conscious enough, your brother uh, probably. So, yeah, like my brother, uh, who's a little bit younger than I am. It, like it literally, The Simpsons has been there his whole life. Yeah. Um, where is it? Reception is uh, criticisms. Where is this? Fuck. Where can it? Hmm. Wait, I was just looking for an episode list, but. That's too too vast, man. The internet can't hold season, that. Season thirty four. Season thirty four is the one they're on now. Jesus, thirty four. <laughs> yep. First season started in I think the first episode of it ever aired in nineteen eighty nine. Nineteen eighty nine. Yep. There we go. Simpsons originally aired December seventeenth, nineteen eighty nine. So the Simpsons itself is actually from the eighties. Incredibly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just it was aired uh, on some show as a wee bit. Oh, it was on the it was it was yeah skits on the Tracy Ullman show before that. Yeah, so. and they were very crude drawings at that point. Oh yeah, yeah. Wow. What were we Can't... going to talk about? Oh, uh, Chainsaw Man episode six, uh, Death of Get... Denji. Yeah, yeah, kill Denji. Kill uh... Denji. So yeah, let's get back on. Let's get this back on track. Yeah, so uh, they're in a stairwell in this hotel, and they've just noticed that it's doing the old crazy magic stairwell where you can't leave the floor that you're on. Yep, you cannot escape. Uh, you just keep. Yep. You can go up the stairs, down the stairs. You'll always end up back on floor eight. Yep, and then um, uh, Hanuma runs up the stairs. Yeah, and and appears and is oh, that's not great. And uh, what's the name? The girl is freaking out even more. She gets told to like, oh yeah, put your peace signs up, make your peace signs. Yeah, hold your hold your peace signs up. And she, uh, Himeno runs up the stairs and then ends up coming back down and going, oh shit, she's doing the thing I asked her to do. Yeah, well, yeah. they're they're the same things. They're the <laughs> same people I left, I guess. So yeah, and then uh, Aki goes, hang on, hold that on. Uh, keep stay still, and then he went into a room, and he goes, "Oh, there's another room through that window. That's weird." Opens the yeah. window, climbs into the other room, and then walks through, and then she, she's right, she's facing away from the door, and turns around to see him, 
and the hair goes, Aah. yeah, and then uh, Denzi just comes out of another room and goes, Yep, you can't get through the windows, so this leads to the room on the opposite side of the hall. And then Incredible. basically has a meltdown, and then I think it goes to the intro at this point, and then next thing you know, they're in a room going, Right, well, looks like we can't leave the eighth floor, we're stuck here. We uh, found and, some food. Yeah. Um. No. No, that's not quite there. That, that was a bit later. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because no. um, basically the, the talk about it, it's like, yeah, could it be that de- devil that we had with, that we killed and uh, Power killed it? And then Power's like, it's all your fault. You told me to kill it. And then like, no, no. We kill these things and the powers disperse. So it's not going to be that. And then yeah. all is like, well, okay. And then, just, then she's just lying in a bed under the under the yeah. The doobie. <laughs> he's like, I'm I'm just I'm just gonna get a nap. I'm tired. Yeah. Then she's like, well, no point in wasting this bed. This is a real good bed. I'm going to go to sleep. And then he literally it, falls asleep. It's incredible because he falls asleep, and I think like Aki's even like, huh? He he actually fell asleep. Yeah. Like I like I don't I don't know what to do with this. Like he's actually gone to sleep. <laughs> he's gone to sleep. And then... What a colossal asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the next, next thing is uh, he wakes up and Kimmel is there and going, right, here's the deal, dude. Um, uh, my young lad is basically having an anxiety attack and is locked up in a room. Um, Ari and uh, the, the my other last two as, uh, basically went insane and started trying to drink from the water. Uh, a toilet yeah, bowl, co- so not yeah. Not her out. Co- got knocked the fuck out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah not her out. Uh, we did find some food from a previous person in the hotel. Yeah. Uh, Aki is just doing his usual stuff by looking for all the answers that you possibly can, very much. Yeah. And uh, well, and power might just have uh, lost her, uh, lost her shit. <laughs> This is genuinely incredible because it obviously cuts to her. Yeah, she's like, so I'm just going to try and work on my Nobel Prize. I yeah. really just I need to win the Nobel Prize. I think that's what I'm going to do. And then it like cuts back to Denji, and he's like, "No, no, this is just who she is." Yeah, and him and I was like, "Oh, well, all right, that's something at least." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, like, yeah, like I guess it's not all bad news then. Yeah, we haven't all lost our minds. Yeah. And then this is the thing. It's, it's like, all right, well, we better go and keep an eye on these guys because they're in another room. The two ones that have gone insane. And um, she lights up the smoke. And yep. basically, then she goes, hey, that's the same. That's my last smoke. That's the same stuff yep. that uh, Aki smokes. And it's like, yeah, I know. I got them into it. Yep. <laughs> And then it's flashback time. The, I was going to say, yeah, now we, we do the whole flashback where she's like, doo-doo, smoke, doo-doo, doo-doo, smoke. Doo-doo. And he's like, I don't want to smoke. Smoking's bad for your bones. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it'll hurt my bones. I don't want to do it. And mm. she just, like, it's essentially a whole flashback of her just going, smoke, smoke. <laughs> yeah, right. And much. then they're in the street and uh, he sees her being accosted by another woman. Who are having, they're having a very loud conversation that ends in um, Himeno being slapped arc- across the face. I don't think they had a conversation. It's just, it's just that he, Aki, sees her slapping. Oh, I, thought, I, thought face. I thought they were having. I thought she was shouting at her first, and then no, she just her, slapped, and then just walked, and then she did something, and then walked away, and then she's like, ah, that's just a girlfriend. One of the next, one of the. My partners. One of the people uh, that was my partner who's now dead. Yeah. All those five, one, one of those five that are super dead now. Yeah. So. And, and they can't exactly blame the devil, so they always blame me. And uh, Aki was like, fuck that shit. And then goes, chases after her, and then goes, comes back and goes, <laughs> I did the most uh, pitiful and pointless thing that I could do to annoy her. I put some gum on her clothes. Now, wherever she goes, she'll have gum attached to her. Yeah, and she won't know it either for a while. And Himeno's just like, 
you are a fucking lunatic, sir. <laughs> but I appreciate I appreciate the sentiment. This is very funny. Yeah. And then that's when she convinces him to have a smoke. That's when she says smoke one last time. Yeah. And he's like, Yeah, all right. <laughs> well, no, it's he still says no. It still hurts yeah. my bones, but I'll have this and yeah. this will be my last one. Yep. And that's the true lessons, folks. It's never the last one. Yeah, it's not, not, not for him anyway. Because well, it turns out he just kept smoking. Yeah. So... This is addiction. <laughs> yep. Uh, and then so... I think this, this is the point where Aki pops in and goes, Oh, I'm good to smoke. But I really need one. And it's like, yep. Oh, this is the last one. And it's like, Well, that's mine then. Give it here. And she's like, All right. So I think this is where he sort of under he reveals that uh the thing that the devil they killed has actually gotten larger. Yeah. So he has a smoke first. Yeah, prob uh, probably feeding off of the fear of lunatic, I'll drink this toilet water. Yes. Down to that. And also, um I do want to make this point that Dante goes, Oh wait, that's an indirect kiss, how can you be doing that type thing? Oh that's Go right. On. Yeah, because it's like, here, have the cigarette that's been in my mouth. Whoa, 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 you can't what? do that. <laughs> yeah. None of that. None that's of that. That's kiss. Uh, and then, um, yeah, so then he reveals that the, the thing's got bigger, and then they go out to investigate, and then it basically comes out and goes, all right, I'll make a contract with you guys. If you kill Denji, then I'll let you all go. Yep. And it's like, you... oh, well, that was easy. Uh, yeah. It's it's called is it the Eternity Devil, I think is its name. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, they don't learn the name until maybe a bit later when it starts chasing them down. So, oh really? I can't, yeah. I just I just remember liking the name. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, when it really starts chasing them down, moves the building upside down uh, on its side. That's right. Um, but so then there's a big conversation about killing Denji and then. What's her name? Comes rushes out the her hotel room awake and goes, "All right, so all we got to do is kill Denji, and then we should do it." And then just she's just like, "Just you just need to die, like that's yeah. all. Just just die." Yeah, she's not going. He's like, "No, I don't, don't, don't really want to do that. Thanks." Um, oh, actually, yeah. she also found out that the um, what's her name? The little the girl is only doing it. This is how I made the. The reference last week is that she is just basically Father Dougal McGuire. Yes. Because uh, right. her bar brother is the smart one and he's getting sent to uh, college, but the family needs to pay and she was either going to be a sex worker or yep. uh, a devil Or hunter. work for the public. Yep. <laughs> And you know Whoops. she didn't want to be a sex worker, so she's working for the the demons. Uh, and now she's going to die. Uh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. Have we found out the identity of the young kid? Was that supposed to have happened? Did we were we supposed to talk about that in the last episode? I thought, yeah, but I don't remember it happening. I haven't watched further than this. I haven't watched. So that. either I'm in, I'm inferring something that I've seen as gospel, I, or we're I, overlooking this. I feel you might be. Well, so hey, I'm pretty sure the kid that watched their brother die is Aki, right? Oh yeah, well you already know that he's he he watched his father he, die by. We know I his think. family died, and then we watched this young kid see his family die. Yeah, and then at the end of this episode, you know that he's pretty much gun hole of one to kill the gun devil. Oh, we we always know that. That's why he likes having Denji around because Denji's like, yeah, I'll I'll kill that thing. Yeah, but that was and he's like, that was at the end of the episode too. That that's referred. To, he's oh, like, he's like, oh well, yeah, Denji's yeah. here because you know he's he said he's going to kill the gun devil, and I really need as much many devil hunters as possible, and. Yeah, he's going to do it. Anyway, um, not not the first time he said that though. Is it? That has been referenced several times. All right, okay. Just <laughs> even under this, it's like so the gun devil is like, yeah, I could do that, and he's like, yeah, okay, well, that's valuable to have that <laughs> at my disposal. 
maybe. So yeah, the uh, what's her name is losing her mind. Oh uh, yeah, Phil on. She's like, yeah, you just need to die. Um, it's very simple. Uh, don't, don't worry about it. If you yeah. just die, we can all leave. Yeah, and then she pulls out a knife from somewhere, and yep. just like goes knife straight or straight at Denji, and uh, Aki just kicks a knife out of her, and um, Huma just like proper knocks the stuffing out of her, like like a good yucking elbow bash into the stomach, and she's lying on the ground with tears gushing out her eyes and mouth as she drools everywhere. <laughs> yep. and like she kind of deserves it oh uh, yeah and then and this is yeah th this is where they say is like well no we're not just because it says we're not we're not going to kill him just because it's asking I, well they have no well yeah that and then Ari comes out and goes yeah we should probably just kill him it'll save us all it makes the most sense and then power also goes oh yeah kill Team Denji, <laughs> kill Team Denji, I'm on that team, only because how else am I going to win the Nobel Prize? Yeah, she's she's very focused on the Nobel Prize. <laughs> she is. Yeah, uh, and Denji's like, shut up. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then everyone else is like, nope, we're not doing it, because there's always a reason for that. Yeah. Uh, well, like, whether they like it or not, he is in on their team. And that is more important to Himeno and, and Aki than it is to, to any of the others. Yeah. Um so uh I think this is is this where uh they start to think about they try to think about alternative ways that they can do this. And uh Aki suggests that he uses the sword. Yes. And Humano is like, no, he can't be using that sword. Nope. And because then... obviously the because he's got to deal with it turns out two devils or in some regard, the first one, the the Kitsune fox mm. devil, uh, takes its pound of flesh or part of him mm. every time he uh, calls upon it. Uh, but it turns out that he also has this deal with whatever you wields this sword, uh, and it will take years off of his life. Yeah, we don't. We we'll once again learn that at the end, more towards the end of the episode. Do we though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, he said, no, you're not doing it. And then it's like, use your fox devil thing instead. And oh, they do. They, yeah, they tried to use his, the fox devil. And he goes, ha, huh, well, I didn't think that was going to work because we're not attached to the world. And also, they believe that the in the, in the hotel, it's not just that they're trapped uh, physically in, the, in this level of floor of the hotel, but they're trapped in time too. Yeah, because I, I was going to say that actually at the start. Uh, I'm pretty sure they noticed that the clocks have all stopped as well. Uh, Aki is so. like, yeah, Aki pointed out it's 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 stopped at eight eighteen. Of course. It, oh, you know, you can't get eight eighty eight. You could have had eight oh eight. Eight oh eight. Yeah. Would have been closer. I don't know. One eight one eight. On floor eight. Sure. Yeah. Um. Anyway, so and they're probably in room one oh eight, one eight, eight one eight. Well, but you don't get to see numbers. Yeah. Uh, and then you realize that doesn't work, and then I think Demon gets pissed for some reason. Oh, that's right. Him and I was like, all right, well, I'll just do it my way. I should be able to finish this off, and then yeah. Uses her ghost arm to like cause massive damage, and then it just grew bigger, and then yep. it got pissed off. It's like, right, that's it, I'm coming for you. And then it, I think at this point, it's like, ha, ah, my heart is like isn't here, type thing. Yeah, I uh, I am the Infinity Demon, and this is essentially my stomach that you're in. Eternity, Eternity yeah. Demon, Eternity Demon. Yeah. Fin All right, eternity demon, and then it starts chasing them. No wait, wait, does it? I think it does because no. they're, they're no, because they go before. No, it's. I think it does, and then they escape into a room. Uh huh. And then, crazy girl. 
Uh, yep. Basically tries to kill Denji again, I think. So yeah, she, a, uh... Oh, no, no, no. She tries to kill Blood. Because she thinks Blood is causing this. Oh, well, no. In a league with the devil or yeah. something. Because I think yeah. they said, um, oh, that won't work because of the Fiend. Yes. Using the sword, it won't work anyway because you've got the Fiend here. And you, the Fiend can't make contract with the devil. So, yeah, that's that's not going to work. I think it's, it's right. only the Demon Hunters. So they be came into another room. And then she goes, I'm hungry. And then it cuts to this room and Blood's just ate all their food. Right, <laughs> and then blames Denji. I oh, know it was Denji, and yeah, I, like you can you can see the crumbs falling out of her mouth. Yeah, it's incredible. She licks it was Denji, and then uh, Ari was like, "What? No, it's blatantly you. How can you do that?" And then um, the girl with the knife appears again and goes, "Oh, but you, you're in league with the devil or something." And then starts charging that uh, charging that blood. Mm -hmm. And um, then they both go kind of like insane at that point because I think Ari steps in front of Blood, saves Blood to a degree or something. Something happens and they have like this big kind of wee argument and then he starts it's to panic attack. Well, yeah. And she... This is all in the run-up, because they're both starting to get worse. Like, both starting to lose their their grip on their 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 uh, sanity. anxiety. And sanity, yeah. Yeah, sanity. Sanity's going way up. Um, and then... And then the monster gets bigger, because they're just kind of... Uh, Aki, yep. Denji, and Kimo are in the hallway in front of the monster. Uh, the demon. Yeah. And then it's it like, starts getting bigger. This is this. In fact, this is where it flips the mm -hmm. floor, so, right? Yeah. So they start to run up, and they flip the floor, and yeah. then you see everything's kind of moved, and the bed falls away from the wall and nearly crushes the girl. Uh, and they scramble into another room opposite them, uh, mm -hmm. and. Uh, Basically, they all kind of meet together because they climb through the windows to get to the other side. Yep. Um, and Crazy Girl ends up, it's like, okay, well, we really need to throw Denji into this dude now. We need to kill him. And we're yeah. like, no, we can't be doing Den that. Denji needs to die now. So yeah. uh, uh, I, I, no one else is stepping up to deal with this. So I'm going to deal with it. And yeah. uh, she, she takes that knife and does a fucking horrific screaming charge right at Denji. Yeah. Um, and then... And of uh, course... Aki... Like... Aki stops it, but I think at the same time Aki was going to go, right, well, the only option now is to use this this sword. And then Hanryu was like, mm -hmm. no, you can't be using that sword. And We're Denji goes, that, yeah. Denji goes, why not? What's wrong with the sword? Oh, it'll take years off his life for Reduce using it. his life, yeah. Yeah, and then yeah, so he takes that stab, mm -hmm. and of course, Himeno is distraught because that thing, like we talked about in the last episode, like she says, you know, you're not gonna die on me. Uh, initially, the first time they met, that was really a kind of a sentence for her because it's like I can't, I can't have you die. It's very important that I don't have anyone else die under my my tutelage or my watch. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but I think that that phrase has kind of morphed because they've become very close friends now. So there's it has kind of a a slight a slightly different meaning. And of course now she's potentially going to watch him bleed out on the floor because he's just been stabbed in the side. Yeah, yeah, he's like full on bleeding out. Uh, and then was so she also mentioned that she ties him up with the ghost arm. To stop him pulling out the sword. That's and right, he, she does. He break, he, yeah, and that's why he, he struggles to protect Denji properly from the knife attack. Uh, yep. And now, like you say, Humo is kind of like also distraught. And um, 
uh, Genji gets up and goes, what the hell? Everyone's kind of like freaked out a bit and Blood's like, yep. and then they go, yo, Blood, can you, like, you, you, you're a Blood Fiend, can you control, yeah, stop his Blood? It's like, well, I can only really control mine, but I can try. Yeah, I like that. She's like, I can control my Blood, but the other part is difficult. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, eh, I guess I can try. Yeah, because who else is going to cook for me? That's, yeah, if Top Knot eats it, no one else will cook for me. So, yeah, yeah. he better survive. Yeah. Uh, and then Denji's like, basically, this is where uh, Aki goes, ah, oh, yeah, I need Denji alive because I he's willing to, he also wants to kill the gun demon, and I need all the devil hunters that Yep, uh, to kill this gun gun demon, and then Denji's uh, gonna do what it takes. Yeah, <laughs> and then Denji's basically like, "Fuck you, dude! I don't need to be in debt anymore. Consider our debts paid when I do this." And he like just yeah. launches himself. <laughs> yeah, he's like, "I'm just gonna use my chainsaws. It will be painful, but I am going to do this because I I refuse to be in debt to anyone else." Yeah. Oh, they do say, "Well, you got a plan." And it's like, "Well, it kind of didn't like my chainsaws." So <laughs> it, it was afraid earlier on. Yeah. It, it, it didn't try to kill me. It asked you guys to do it. Yeah. So clearly there's a bit of fear there. Is that so I'm just going to go and fucking kill this thing? Yeah. Even though its heart is nowhere. Uh, yep. And just leaps into the, the maw of the beast. Re ready to fucking tear it to bits. Yeah. He says, uh, What is it? Uh, what are you going to do? What's your plan? He's like, I'm going to hurt it until it wants to kill itself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. I, th I think I think Power is like, yeah, this is a great plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. That's, that's the best plan. <laughs> yeah, best thing I've heard all day. Do that. Do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah it's, um, real, it's real good. Yeah, uh, he launches himself off the, into the, the mouth because it's now the villains, the, the reality is now 90 degrees flipped. Yeah. And that's uh, the end of the episode. Uh, yeah, that's all we see. Him just kind of launching and again, jumping into the mouth of the beast. It's a pretty good one. I like this episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it certainly has built up the... Uh, it's built up. It's getting to maybe a good eight, to maybe a nine. Yeah, I, I was going to say, we're, we're into high eight territory on this one for me. Like yeah. it's, it's pretty good. I'm it's... enjoying the the characterizations are much stronger, uh, mm. and the sense of urgency and things like that is really interesting. Yeah, they're 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 doing a good a good job. Mm -hmm. uh, this was a particularly thrilling part of the manga. So, <laughs> right. well, it's good that's capturing it then. Um, was a it's power. I can see why you like power now. I was never too sure why you like power because she was. So, so good. She's so fucking good. Like every everything about her is just so insanely ridiculous. It's amazing. She was I love it. Basically, it's a selfish brat for most of it, and then like this one is like, yeah, I'm I'm going to win a Nobel Prize, and then I'm going to get that medal, and then I'm going to like kill the president or something with the medal. She's just yeah. She's just she's she's the just the right kind of unhinged. Yeah. Uh, everything, every everything she says, everything she does, is just wrapped in chaos because you cannot predict what she's going to do. You don't know where she's going to be. She's just mental, and it's great. Yeah, yeah. She's like full insane, and uh, was yeah. It's the whole Nobel Prize, and then they kept running with the Nobel Prize. Like, well, I need to get out to win this Nobel Prize. So let's kill Denji. So important for... Yeah, let's kill yeah. Denji. I need yeah. that prize. Yeah. It's very important that I do this. And then yeah, all it's, it's real it's real good. All all our things are like, you know, if I don't do it then it's it's gonna be a bit more of a hassle for me. I may as well keep you guys around. <laughs> like, oh it's so good. This guy's bleeding out. Yeah, I'll I'll save him because yeah. he cooks he, who else is gonna cook he, for me? He he cook, he cooks my food. It's yeah. uh so, yeah, I, like yeah, I, Power is just a, a fun character. She's just uh, she's she's uh, like delightfully complicated. She's not complicated, 
in in a lot of ways because she does what she wants it doesn't matter like she's just she's just chaos incarnate and yet uh there's this sort of um weirdly uh honor bound side to her uh mm. even though she's just a killing machine um with only really herself in mind uh she understands the concept of being indebted and she finds like comfort in an animal in a, a companion I, I like those are sort of weird uh um things that exist to in like despite her bizarreness like she huh. has there's something there she's in her personality she appreciates the cat because the cat is her she is a cat yeah and and but Persona. it's the same thing as like whether she wants to admit it or not like it's not it is that thing where um you can see at the start of her character like everything is selfish it doesn't really matter like it's all it's all about her but really like her letting denji feel her up and wanting to save aki uh those are just those aren't that's not like indebted behavior that's that's sort of, well it's it's more than that you know like it's like oh i can't let him die because then he'll cook for me it's like that's just a front yeah, you yeah. also don't want to see him die. Yeah. Ah, she's she's not going to show any feelings of anything. No. Yeah. No, definitely not. But yeah, I think it's it's uh, definitely kicking off. I'm looking forward to to getting back to it when we go in a, on with episode seven next week. Yeah. Um. With that said, uh, this is who's that anime and anime podcast where we occasionally talk about anime. We tried our hardest not to like go on a tangent but we did do about probably about 20 minutes of absolute nonsense before we actually got around to talk about chainsaw man oh, yeah. um no it wasn't absolute I mean, it was nonsense. good shit it was, it was like uh, sonic and informative nonsense informative yeah I, actually i did find out there was another sonic cartoon that i was completely unaware of um but yeah so we are an anime podcast you can find us at our home anchor.fm forward slash who's that anime you can listen to us on Spotify, Stitcher, Audible, Google Podcast, Pocket Cast, Overcast, Apple Podcast, anywhere where an RSS feed can be used or found. Um, if you like what we do, um, reviews are always nice. Uh, five star reviews in particular, we really appreciate. Anything less with a little bit of constructive feedback, also like super uh, appreciated. Um, we don't really make any money from this. Uh, there's no advertising. We just kind of enjoy talking about anime. Um, and if you've already given us a review uh, and are trying to think of another way to uh, help us out, uh, maybe telling a friend about the show uh, and sharing that way would be really cool too. We have a Facebook page. That's facebook.com forward slash who's that anime where we post the latest episodes and the occasional anime meme. We have a Discord. You can find the link for that in the show notes. We also have a YouTube channel where Colin painstakingly puts together the latest episodes of the video versions of the podcast, where you will see my incredible Dragon Ball Z fluffy hooded top mm -hmm. that keeps me far too warm. Uh, what episode will be on for this one? Episode three? Episode three, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Because uh, we're three weeks be behind. Live. Yep, but... the perpetual three weeks. Uh, you won't see this episode until the new year. Oh shit, that's right. Happy 2023. Happy 2023, um, people. First uh, podcast in the new year. Video podcast of the new year. Yeah. Yeah, sure. sort of. Well, first one so far. Technically, yeah. there might be one before that because oh, the, 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 it'll be the first, would be the week before this one, which is our new year yeah. special. Oh yeah, that's where we rem reminisce about the past and look forward to the future. Yes, nothing like we ever do before. Nothing uh, like that. Well, actually, we'll we'll do this episode, and because we don't have an anime to talk about, it's okay for us to ramble. So that's good. Yeah, um, but yeah, you'll find the uh, the latest episodes uh, in that when they go up on YouTube. It's YouTube dot com. And if you search for the channel, who's that anime? Uh, Colin and I occasionally like to play video games. Colin at twitch.tv forward slash couchfuel and myself at twitch.tv forward slash hailpayman. We don't really have much uh, in the way of games having been gone on recently, but if you would like to look at an archive and are interested, you can find archives for both of those Twitch channels at youtube.com 
uh, if you search for the channels Couch Fuel or Hail Payman. And I believe that is us. That is us, yeah. Yeah, Happy New Year, for your folks. <laughs> no, wait, it's not Happy New Year for the audio version, though. Is it? No. Yes. I need to... No. Is it? Hang on. Let me refer to our All schedule. Right. It's not, uh... <laughs> Happy no, wait, year. what episode is this? Uh, six. No, God, that's not even close. Nope. Nope, nope. Happy 2022, folks. It's not even been Christmas yet. It's not even Christmas yet. We're... Merry we're... Chrysler. Merry Chrysler. Merry what? Christmas. Chrysler. Have you ever seen the, 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 the girl who's like, Merry Christmas? Merry Chrysler. And just keeps saying things that sound like Merry Christmas? No. no, it sounds like something no, I would good. do though. It's a good meme. It does. It does sound like a little bit like that. Merry Christmas. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Merry Christmas. Yes. And with mm. that, take us home, Colin. Uh. Oh yeah. Uh, catch us in the future. <laughs> the same army place, same army time. Uh, same anime year, it seems. S same anime. Same anime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for another good while, because this is six, and there should be twelve. So there's another. Oh, we're episodes. halfway through. Yeah, this is halfway through. Oh, we're halfway this... there. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the first time when a new season comes out that we revisit. Revisit like an like another a, a, a series because because we've always done shows that have been finished. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, this is this... the first time we make we've got an opportunity to come back and come do back. the new season. Yeah, when it gets here, I think it's been announced that it's happening. Yeah, I think season two, I'm pretty sure, has been given the go ahead. Yeah, um, I don't know when, but I'll I'll watch it. I'll watch it, but I don't know when. That's, Two years later, Attack of Titans. Whenever the fucking second season of Tower of God comes out, Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, Tower of God, oh yeah, that's the one you said I should watch, and I haven't watched it yet. It's on Crunchyroll, right? It's, it, it is. It's really good. Yeah, I can get to watch it now, and um, I've subscribed to that. Have you? You're subscribed now, yeah? I'm subscribed for a year. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. You told me that. Uh, Tower of God season two has it officially been announced that they're doing that yet oh yeah uh yeah okay crunchyroll have confirmed that it's in development but they have not given a release date okay <laughs> so at least it's been confirmed thank god because i was deeply worried for a second that they were just going to not bother going back to it yeah <laughs> i think that came out like like three years ago at this point two years ago Oh jeez, really? I think it was for the two podcast. Years ago. Yeah. Yeah, two years ago. Uh in fact I was watching it as it was coming out. <laughs> it was two two and a half years ago. Oh well. Wow. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh well. So anyway. Uh, let's let's uh, end end this. Let end it. End it good. Yeah. We'll, well, guys. We'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back next week with um, episode seven of Chainsaw Man, and we'll find uh, how uh, Denji's getting on in the belly of the beast. That is the Eternity Demon. The one. Yeah. Well. Uh, yep. See you next week, see guys. See you folks later. Shows. Charles, 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 Charles. Oh fuck! Okay, end it, end it. Sorry. <laughs> bye. bye, 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 bye. It's red eight eighteen for a lot longer than a minute, and it's not the only one. All the clocks on this floor say eight eighteen. Based on that fact, I think it's possible time on the eighth floor has been frozen by a devil's power, and if that's the case, we won't be receiving any help. <laughs> No shit? We can sleep all we want now! Exactly how stupid are you?
Do you not get the gravity of our situation, or do you just not care if we're trapped in here forever? What's gravity got to do with it? No one knows anything for sure. And you do wake me up. This bed's dope as hell. Shouldn't waste it. I'm appreciate this devil and have a nap. He really fell asleep. Denji, come on, out of bed, sleepyhead. Well. Uh. <laughs> you guys actually managed to find a way off of the eighth floor? Hate to break it to you, Cupcake, but not yet. We did learn the water and electricity work like normal while you were passed out. Though, our greatest discovery has to be the food we found in the luggage some guests left behind. I won't lie, everyone's pretty much at their wit's end. Aki's grit has him searching for the devil non-stop. I told him to take a break, but I might as well have lectured a wall. Arai was helping Aki at first, but then got hit by a panic attack. Now he's bundled up and shut down in another room. Kobani freaks to the point of trying to drink from a toilet bowl, so I knocked her out. And of course, the fiend you brought with you. Is she okay? Did something happen? I'm thinking of ways to win the Nobel Prize in order to battle my boredom. For once I have earned such glorious esteem, all you humans will kowtow to me. I'll then make a stepping stone out of that gilded coin and snatch the Prime Minister's throne! What better way to ensure the suffering of lowly mortals? And my first act shall be to implement a 100% sales tax! Nah, she's always like that. Oh, <laughs> then no worries. <laughs>